Zeke talked about it, uh, rebounding. He said that was a calling card in the second half. Uh, just, just talk about how excited you were that your guys came out. And, you know, they rebounded well. So. Well, I mean, we did a, we did, we we did, we got the rebounds that we needed to get. You know, and that was important for us. But I, you know. Coach Mason did a great job with his players early in the first half. They went four for eight in the first half in the three-point line. They established a lot of confidence. They did a really good job. They cooled off a lot of the second half, uh, some of which I think because we adjusted some things and we made them have to, to not stay in just a rhythm of doing one thing. Uh, I felt like that we were able to get Zeke going a little bit there. He hit a big play, a four-point play at 70-70 to 74-70 from the corner and got fouled really helped us kind of spur us up with the play of Ishmael Lane, Sabri Thompson. I thought Devontae uh, Hall had a good game, but just a general floor game. Uh, it's kind of a weird thing because in the first half, our waves, our second wave really ignited us in the second half. Uh, they struggle a little bit. So that's something that we've got to work on. I mean, can I continue to play in waves? I don't know. You know, that's something in coaching. You're trying to figure out where you are. You're trying to get better and trying to do the little things. But uh, we didn't have the services of Trayvon Joseph today. He had uh, uh, orthoscopic surgery today, and he'll be out for 36 days. Uh, that was a big loss to us. He's kind of our energy guy. Uh, I do know that Tejon uh, Welcome came in and did some stuff in the first half, but the biggest thing Tejon Welcome did in the game tonight was he was on the side and saw something and came and made a suggestion to the coaches. And that was the biggest play of the game to me because that means that he was involved in what was, he didn't go back in the game, but he made a suggestion that was well taken and, and we tried to do it. And, you know, and that, so that means that he was involved, he was engaged, he was doing the things, and we've got to have that from all our players. You talked about uh, getting Ish more involved as far as just him demanding the ball, and he seemed like he was more of a presence inside tonight. Um, how did you feel he's come along so far uh, just early in the season? Well, I mean, he's really going to be a good player, and he wanted the ball, he demanded the ball, he got it, he did some good things. We had a lot of good uh, interior play to him, and when he gets it, he's a load. If he goes up and pulls it down, I felt like he was a little bit more aggressive on the rebounding, having nine rebounds where he only had one rebound against Arizona. And some of that's misleading because if he's blocking out against Arizona, he may not be able to get to the ball. But I thought he did a good job. He competed. Of course, he got in early foul trouble at Arizona. But we really got to have him step it up. Is along with Zeke Woodley, along with Sabri Thompson. Levi uh, Yancey did some really good things, got a couple rebounds in, in the second half that were crucial. And he also uh, did a couple other things. He made a really nice shot on the backside of pass from Sabri Thompson. Sabri made another really nice pass to, uh, to uh, Reginald Kisinol, K Kisinol, uh who really did some great things. I was really pleased with him. Uh, I mean, he's coming. The one thing that's most exciting about him is that he runs off the floor when he's taken out of the game. And, you know, I mean, his attitude is really, really good. Is he going to make mistakes? Yeah, he's going to make mistakes. But he's a six foot and 11 guy that's got touch and did some really nice things. I thought in the first half, he's really instrumental in us getting some things going in that second wave and did a really good job. I love the growth yeah, of your players. Uh, just the growth of your players over this four game, four game stretch. The last four, the four coming up. <laughs> the four coming up. Let's talk about it's going to be it's going to be a challenge. I mean, we're going to have to we're going to have to coach. We're going to have to do some things a little bit different. Uh, you know, one of the things that we tell the guys that we want to run tonight, we chose not to run. But then when we play Auburn, we need, may need to walk the ball up the floor. But then, you know, are we going to be frustrated when we had the opportunity to do something and now we're not doing it? So you know, I mean, it's it's one of those things. It's a really difficult place in coaching today because. That we're getting so many outside influences and people in people's ears telling them they're not getting enough shots. That used to happen in 1983 when I was first coaching, but it was mama or daddy telling their son. It wasn't somebody on another continent texting in and saying or tweet, tweeting, whatever they call that stuff. You know, hey, you got to get more shots or you got to do this, that, or the other. So it's a situation that we've got to grow through. We got to understand that the people that are coaching us know best not the people in the outside world. A long time ago, I had a problem with a player one time that he said, well, coach, people tell me I ought to be doing this and that. And I said, well, son, do they come to practice every day? He said, well, no, sir. I said, then how do they know? You know, so we just have to work hard, improve and get better and encourage our guys to, to be the best they can be. So you, you, got a, you had a couple of um, freshmen. I know a guy, I saw him down in the state championship. We were talking about him. Guy from Florine. Uh, Bailey Walker Bailey came Walker in and really had two, three. Guy from, uh, 
Lakeview. Lakeview. Lakeview came in. They did some good things, some good things, but they've got to grow and they got to get it. And there has to be a toughness about the ball and understanding how important the ball is. Uh, uh, Malik and Bailey both are young men that are going to be successful. It's just going to take some time to get them where they need to go. Appreciate it, Coach.